so hi fox so uh, a very good evening so uh, so i uh, my name is vishal and i basically manage the hadoop in uh, infrastructure basically at flipkart so we we have uh, a lot of uh, systems uh, that basically depend on the hadoop infrastructure uh, that's basically running at flipkart right now so uh, so uh, basically i will be speaking about uh, the the learning curves that we had uh, during our initial edge base uh, setup uh, that we had uh, initially so uh, so initially uh, when we went ahead with uh, edge base we we actually had uh, nothing uh, we never we never had uh, much knowledge uh, about uh, the internals of edge base so basically what happened was uh, we went ahead with the edge base uh, cluster setup uh, we went with uh, cloudera cloudera distribution so Uh, there are a couple of issues that we uh, faced uh, initially when we set up the cluster was uh, i think the the foremost issue was uh, the region server was going down because uh, we initially went with a very basic uh, default settings uh, which was there in edge base so uh, the the region server was uh, started going down because of this and uh, uh, the i mean it it was basically hell uh, you you had to restart uh, region servers every uh, now and then so so uh, we figured out uh, the issue was because of uh, major gcs happening so there is a term uh, known as called as uh, juliet pause so what happens is basically the 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 region servers uh, fail to respond and uh, the the zookeeper thinks that they are dead, dead and uh, zookeeper just kicks them out so 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 what happens is after after a point in time the hp is dies off so Uh, this was fixed uh, with with uh, the, with the newer release of uh, uh, hbase uh, in cdh 4.2 probably yeah so so what what was happening was uh, there was uh, yeah there there was uh, uh, an ms lab uh, configuration uh, factor uh, which uh, which basically uh, dumps a gc object uh, of of a certain size so this actually fixed uh, the issue of uh, region servers going down so because of this uh, uh, what happened was uh, we figured out uh, every time we restarted uh, a region server so uh, it it took uh, a lot more longer because of the number of regions it it had actually so uh, uh, initially when we started off uh, when we started pumping in more data we had around uh, uh, 1200 regions per region server so uh, what happened was each town each time a region server goes down there was this uh, the time taken to transition each region was a lot more when compared to uh, because of the number of uh, the regions uh, because of the number of regions yeah so to fix this issue what we did was uh, we increased uh, the size of each region so that uh, the, the number of uh, regions uh, reduced considerably so we we had set we had set uh, there was a configuration parameter uh, which you guys have to set uh, uh, to increase the size of a particular region so we had set the size from 256 mb to we had increased it to 50 50, 50 gigs so uh, so what happened was we we faced we started facing couple of other issues uh, like uh, compaction storms so uh, i don't have i am not explaining much in detail about uh, what a compaction is in hbase so uh, what happens is uh, when when a write happens it it is basically uh, flushed onto the disk and uh, you will have uh, when more write happens the the more flushes happen and all this uh, files get uh, log files get uh, compressed uh, compressed or maybe compacted into a single file so uh, so that is that is what was happening uh, when we had uh, a uh, large number of uh, regions basically uh, sorry not large number of regions regions of larger sizes basically so uh, we we had to fix this issue by uh, looking at uh, the region sizes so we we uh, later we came to we figured out that okay the the optimal or the the minimum uh, or the yeah so the optimal region size uh, essentially uh, should be around uh, 10 to uh 15 uh, gigs so that uh, the compaction uh, storm doesn't happen so even if the compaction happens uh, it wouldn't be that frequent so the the next parameter that we took in uh, 
to focus was uh, the, by switching off uh, compaction because compaction happens uh, at irregular intervals. So when you when you least need it, it happens, and uh, compaction basically amplifies the read write uh, uh, read write that's happening uh, in, the, in the cluster. So uh, we switched off compaction, and uh, I think that almost uh, fixed the issue. So I think uh, we had faced a couple of uh, a lot more issues than this. So due to lack of time, uh, I think I would be concluding this. Thank you.